Let's go visit uh, Machu Picchu, shall we? So we're just going to head south. And we're going to take a look at the upper part of uh, South America. And what you'll see, this big green circle and a line going through it from, from west to east. That's the Amazon. That's the Amazon River. And we're going to look at the western boundary of the Amazon. The whole rainforest ends in almost a straight line pixelated but pretty definite and you can see the difference between where the mountains begin and where the jungle begins. Right now we're going to fly into an area of the mountains uh, that's pretty close to the jungle and uh, if you look off into the horizon you can see how vast the Amazon is. So here we're flying into the Andes Mountains. We're going to uh, bank over to the right a little bit. We're going to go into this uh, very rough territory here. And we'll come over an edge here. And we begin to see First thing we see is the road, the switchback road that comes up to Machu Picchu. Then we begin to see a model of Machu Picchu. This is what it looks like today. The roofs are on, of course. But I, I've been told that it's very clean. And this is the highest part. This is called the King's chair or something like that. But I want to show you down here in the valley what uh, Machu Picchu actually means. So let's say you're an Amazonian and you're coming up through a valley and you're going towards the mountains for whatever reason. Stress, population changes, but you're a migrant. And you come around this corner and one of the things that you see on top of a mountain over on the left hand side is a ghost of a vision. And you know what it means. It means that people live up here in the mountains. They're established engineers. They're watching you from high places. And they're very, very powerful people. It scares me coming up here. I can't imagine what it's like uh, <laughs> if I was doing this for real. Look at these mountains. There's nothing like them. It's absolutely rugged terrain. Here's much of future down below us. And again, we're going to look down into the valley below us. I hope you enjoyed this.